Look here. The little child here doesn't appear to be moving. Well, maybe not. Look at the same child from outside. He is indeed moving. The little child here is moving along a circle. That's because the train in which the child is seated is moving along a circle. Further, the child along with the train keep going in circles again and again. That is, the motion of the train is repeating after certain time intervals. In the illustration here, we just witnessed different types of motions. What are these different states of a body at rest and motion? In this module on motion and its types, let's understand different types of motions with examples as we study what is motion? What are different types of motion? Now look at this little boy sitting on the bench. He is in state of rest as he is not changing his position. Say, with respect to this tree. We call the tree here as reference point. But the little children who are running around in the park are obviously changing their positions each instant with respect to the same reference point, that is, the tree. Hence, these children are said to be in the state of motion with respect to the reference point, here it being the tree. Path of the object in motion is the track along which the object moves. Let's observe the paths of different moving objects. For example, these ants are marching in a straight line. Do you see this child sliding down? He's moving in a straight line. The straight line path here is inclined to horizontal at an angle. Let's see more examples. Ball moving up and down in the air. Cars on a road. The toy train on a track. Soldiers marching. They all are straight line motions. Such a motion where an object moves along a straight line is called rectilinear motion. Now look, the little child on the merry-go-round is moving along a circular path. The center point of the merry-go-round remains fixed. The merry-go-round moves around an axis passing through this central point. Now observe the motion of the blades of the fan or the hands of the clock. In both these motions, just as in merry-go-round, an object is moving around a central fixed point or an axis. When an object moves around a fixed point such that its distance from the center remains the same, is called a circular motion. Recall that in a circle, the distance of each point along the circumference is same from the center. Now, a question to think about. Out of the different motions we see here, can we identify some motions which seem to be repeating themselves after certain time intervals? The little girl on the swing. Her motion is repeating. The merry-go-round keeps rotating continuously, repeating after every short time interval. Such motions which repeat themselves after regular time intervals are called the periodic motion. A moving clock needle is a wonderful example of periodic and circular motion. Have you ever kicked a football and seen it move on the ground? A football moves neither in an exclusive linear motion nor an exclusive circular motion. So, what is it? Let's look closely. The ink dot point made on the football moves ahead along a straight path. Also, we see that while the football rolls on the surface, the point moves along the circular motion. 
The football moves ahead with two motions happening simultaneously. Rectilinear or straight line motion plus the circular motion about the center of the football. Such a motion is called the rolling motion. So, a rolling motion is a combination of straight line motion and circular motion. Can you think of any other object which undergoes rolling motion? Well, yes! The wheels of a bicycle or any vehicle undergo rolling motion while the vehicle moves forward. Now that we understand about different types of motion, let's study the nature of motion of our Earth. Earth moves around its own axis. That is, it is in circular motion around its own axis. This motion is also known as Earth's rotation. Simultaneously, Earth also moves around the Sun while it rotates about its own axis. This motion is also known as Earth's revolution. Both rotation and revolution of Earth are periodic motions as well. Earth repeats its rotation after every 24 hours. Earth repeats its revolution after every 365 days. What about the motion of the Moon? Moon, like Earth, also does dual motion. It rotates around the Earth and while the Earth revolves around the Sun, follows it. Wonderful! In this module, we learnt the following. Movement in a straight line is called rectilinear motion. Movement in a circular path about a fixed central point is called circular motion. Movement that repeats itself at regular time intervals is called periodic motion. Movement resulting due to the combination of a linear and circular motion is called rolling motion.